I just want to make a quick video showing how to replace a screen on a ThinkPad T490. Now in most of these, usually what I do is just replace the display assembly itself, which is quite easy, pretty much by disassembling these hinges down below and unplugging the cable and just removing the entire assembly and putting on a new one. I always thought the display on most of these was kind of glued on and wasn't possible to remove, but it is actually quite easy to get this one off. So what you want to do, here I already removed it, is, so as you can see, there are these little clips here. There's one right here, right near the corner, and one kind of right below the corner. They go along the top. You want to get these clips off. So to do that, you want to start just below the corner here. So right here, as you can see, one of the clips is right there, so you don't want to break that. You want to start, and you want to pry up, and then gently, Essentially just go along the top and once it splits, it's kind of like a standard procedure, you just lightly go along the top. The entire top will pry open. You can see. Take a better look at these clips. See where they are positioned. Pretty much just go along the very top. Now, the, the only real tricky part, it seems here, was a lot of these silver parts here, and the, some of the parts on the edges, they're kind of stuck on with a kind of sticky adhesive. So as you pull it back, what you want to do is you want to get under there, you want to undo the adhesive so the screen kind of comes back and doesn't rip up the silver part along here or anything else. The rest of it is there, there's not really too much to it. I would uh, advise using something plastic and not metal. Maybe for the initial insertion, you might want to use something metal like this, something very thin, because there is a very small gap and you will kind of damage the screen if you don't use something very thin here. But once you got the split open, it's pretty much good to go. I would just use a credit card to avoid doing any additional damages. Metal tends to be more easy to damage something like this with. And as you get to the bottom, it's the same procedure. As the screen kind of splits open, you get to the bottom and you have the screen cable here, which is taped on and it just has the familiar latch. I'm not sure if you can see that here. It just has the familiar latch which you just lift up and disconnect. At this point you're good to go and along the bottom it's all the same thing. So w once you get the top corners down you just go along each edge. As I said make sure as you lift it up, kind of prop it up. Remember the display does crack easily so you don't want to bend it. You want to kind of equally lift up the whole thing and make sure that these nothing that's sticky is being stuck onto it so as you lift it especially along these corners as well and once you got these corners off and the sticky tape off the bottom groove here which fits into this little crack kind of below the hinge all that will just come off and the only thing that will be holding it on is this cable so just be really careful not to rip the cable because obviously the screen will no longer work if you do so so undo the latch and do the little piece of tape and do the latch get the cable off and your screen is good to go. It's actually very easy. I thought it'd be a little more difficult and I was kind of worried about breaking it, but I'd say it was really, anyone could do this with no problem. The only thing I would recommend, use something very, very thin to get at the corner. And this is really as critical here that you want to get it just below the corner because if you get it just above, you really want to keep in mind where the clips are. So as you can see, there's a clip right there just above the corner and just below there isn't the same on the other side. As you go along, and that's it. So if anyone's wondering how to get the new display on, remove the old one. This is how it is. I think anyone should be able to do this. You don't really need any particular skill. So yeah, check it out and hope this helps someone.